Good evening and welcome to Compline for the 14th Sunday after Trinity on behalf of St Mary's Church Peterborough with Stuart and Elizabeth. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, Make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ your only Son, and Holy Spirit by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. And we have Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord... He will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness. And put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart. More than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep. For it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. And we have Psalm 119 verses 1 to 16. Blessed are those whose way is pure, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, and seek after him with their whole heart. Those who do no wickedness, but walk in his ways. You, O Lord, have charged, that we should diligently keep your commandments. Oh, that my ways were made so discreet direct that i may keep your statutes then should i not be put to shame because i have regard for all your commandments i will thank you with an unfeigned heart when i have learned your righteous judgments i will keep your statutes oh forsake me not utterly how shall young people cleanse their way to keep themselves according to your word. With my whole heart have I sought you. O oh, let me not go astray from your commandments. Your words have I hidden within my heart. That I should not sin against you. Blessed are you, O oh Lord. O oh, teach me your statutes. With my lips have I been telling. Of all the judgments of your mouth. I have taken greater delight 
in the way of your testimonies than in all manner of riches. I will meditate on your commandments and contemplate your ways. My delight shall be in your statutes and I will not forget your word. And we have Psalm 134. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary. And bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth. Give you blessing out of Zion. Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We have a short reading from 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 9 and 10. God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Let us pray for our own needs and for the needs of others, following the pattern which Jesus gave when he taught us to pray to God our Father. Through our love of the countryside, through our care for animals, through our respect for property and tools, Father, Father hallowed be your name on our farms and in our homes in our colleges and schools, where machinery is made and where policy is planned. Father, your kingdom come. By our seeking your guidance, by our keeping your commandments, by our living true to our consciences. Father, your will be done. For the millions who live in poverty and hunger, for our own needs and the requirements of our neighbours, by cooperation, sympathy and generosity. Give, give us today, today our, our daily, daily bread. Because we have broken your commandments, doing what we ought not to do and neglecting what we ought to do, Forgive us, us our sins. sins. If any have injured us by injustice, double dealing or exploitation, we, we forgive, forgive those who sin against, against us. us. 
when prosperity lulls us to false security, or hard times prompt us to despair, when success makes us boastful, or failure makes us bitter. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In the assurance of faith, in the confidence of hope, in the will to serve, help us to love Christ as Lord and our neighbour as ourselves. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who at this evening hour lay in the tomb and so hallowed the grave, to be a bed of hope for all who put their trust in you, give us such sorrow for our sins, which were the cause of your passion, that when our bodies lie in the dust, our souls may live with you for ever. Amen. Amen. Merciful God, your Son came to save us and bore our sins on the cross. May we trust in your mercy and know your love, rejoicing in the righteousness that is ours through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy, Defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord. Make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning. So do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Amen.